One great feature about Google Drive is its ability to allow you to create fillable forms. So users can log in and fill out a form with information. And for an educator, it's very useful because we can make quizzes or tests that can be filled out by our students. So to create a form, click on the red Create button and then choose Form. When you first create a form, you're given an option to give it a title and select a theme. So I'm going to go ahead and call this Quiz 1 and choose, I'll just choose the default theme. Although there are a lot of really neat looking themes, uh, Google Forms was just updated recently, so there are a lot more visual styles that are available to us today than there were in the past. So I'll choose default and click OK. Once you have created your form, you can add a description for your form. So the title is Quiz 1, and I'm going to say, please answer the following questions. And then, uh, as an educator, the first question that I would ask on my form would be the first name. So I can go ahead and have first name for my, the question title of the first one. And then, for each question, you choose the type of question you're asking. In this case, I'll be asking a text question, where I just give one line of text so they can type in their answer. And I do want them to, uh, it to be required to answer the question, so I'll click on Required Question. That means that the person filling out the form must answer this question before submitting it and then I'll click done. So there's my first question. First name and there's a blank. I'm going to go ahead and add one more and I'm going to add another text question and make this last name. And make sure I mark this required question and click done. Now since I'm making a quiz I may want to give the option to have the student identify him or herself by the class they're in. So I'm going to go ahead and add an option for them to select their uh, teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and click on um, choose from a list. This way it gives them all the possible answers in a drop-down list. And I'm going to type in homeroom teacher. And then I'm going to, uh, this is already choose from a list. And I'm going to give a couple options. If you leave the first option blank, that will make it so they have to choose one and they won't, won't have a homeroom teacher or whatever the option is. There will be nothing there to begin with. And they will have to make a selection of some kind. So I'll press enter to go to the next option. I'm going to go ahead and put Mr. Bone for me. And then I'll put a couple of random names. I'll put teacher two. Teacher 3 and Teacher 4. And to go from each selection, I just press Enter to go to the next option. And I do want to have this as a required question, so I'll click on Required Question and click on Done. Okay, so now I want to add my first question to my quiz. These first three items were just identifiers first name, last name, homeroom teacher. And now I want to add my first item or my first question to the, the quiz. So I'll click on Add Item, and I'm going to make this one a multiple choice question. Now I'm going to go ahead and have this, uh, I'll say, question one, off the number one. And then for help text, if you, if you type in, in the help text section your question, it will be easier later because it will not show up in your spreadsheet view. It will make it easier to read. Um, you could always type in the question at the very beginning if you'd like, but I'm going to type in the help text. That way it will not show up the entire text of the question in my spreadsheet later with my data. So the first question I'm going to have that be, um, which of the following? is an inner planet in our solar system. And then I can add each option one at a time. And it's a multiple choice. So that means, means that all the options are given at the very beginning. They can see all the options I give them uh, as opposed to a drop down menu as our last question was. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, let's do Jupiter, which is not the answer. Press enter and put Mars, which is the answer. Then I'll put Saturn. And I'll put Neptune. And now I'm going to have four choices. I can add more than four if I like, or less than four. Uh, and I do want to have it a required question, so I'll click on that box and click on Done. So I've gone ahead and added three multiple choice questions, as you can see here. And now I'm going to add a different type of question. So I'm going to click on the Add Item and click on the drop down box. And I'm going to choose Paragraph Text. In this kind of question, there is a larger box that's given for. Um, the people taking your form and filling out your form to submit their answer. So I'll go ahead and just maybe ask a longer question like, um, what makes Earth unique when compared to other planets? And then I could always add in the help text section how many points this is worth. I'll go ahead and just make it a two point question. And then the student or the person taking your form, filling out your form, will be able to answer in more than just one line of text. 
Now I'll make the required question and click on done. After you've created your form, you need to choose a place where you would like all of the completed forms and all of their responses to go. So at the very top of the page, uh, click on choose response destination. And once you click there, you're given a couple of options. The first option is to have all the responses accumulate into a new spreadsheet that will be on your drive account. Or you could also choose to have it ha be uh, added to a new sheet in an existing spreadsheet. I would recommend choosing a new spreadsheet, that way every, um, every form you create has a separate spreadsheet for the responses. So if you do that, it will make a new spreadsheet that will be titled the name of your form, and then in parentheses, responses, and then click on create. To view the responses of people that have filled out your form, you can click on the view responses button at the top after you select the destination, or you can go back to your drive account, and you can choose where it says quiz one responses. And that will give you the spreadsheet with all of the information from people who have already filled out your form. To view the live form uh, that you've created, the other people that are t filling out your form will see, click on where it says view live form at the top of the screen. This will open up your form, in this case it's a quiz, in a new window, and it will show you what this form will look like to the people who are filling it out that you're sending it to. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in as my uh, as an example of someone, I'll put John, his first name, Joe is the last name, homeroom teacher, let's go to Mr. Bone. And then I'll answer the questions. Hmm, I think it must be Mars. Uh, third planet from the sun, let's get one wrong on purpose. Let's click on Mercury. How many planets are there in our solar system? I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, I'm still in the old, way, old age. I'll click on 9 because I think Pluto is a planet. And then I'll type that Earth has life, which makes it unique click on submit and this is the screen that you're shown after you have submitted your form after some of your participants have filled out the form they will automatically fill in as each person fills it out so and it also has a timestamp on the left hand side lets you know when exactly it happened and then it gives you the first names last names home teachers and each question you can see a summary of all of the responses by clicking on form and then clicking on show summary of responses. This is a great way that you can analyze the data um, of the group that you are testing or quizzing in this case if you're an educator or if you just want to gather information and see what kind of relationships there are. So you can see that all the students had the same homeroom teacher, Mr. Bone. Um, and number one, all the students, all the participants answered Mars. So that was a good question. There was not much problem on that. Number two, it shows that, oh no, we have some problems. Only two of the five answered Earth, and that was which one was the third planet from the sun. So, hey, you know, that's a problem question. You can review this with your class and let them know there are problems there. Number three, uh, the correct answer was eight, and it looks like most of us had the right answer, but one of us did not. So we can say, that, you know, as a, as a whole, the class did pretty well, but there was one student who did not do very well. So it's a good way to analyze your data quickly and easily after all your students have submitted their answers. To share your completed form with your participants or students, in the top right hand corner, click on Send Form. You can either copy and paste the link to share with them, or you can click in the Send Form via email and type in the email addresses of the participants there and then click on Send.